Greetings and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Last time we were playing as Ethiopia and we conquered a lot of provinces over here in Nubia. Now we're conquering Adal and we got lucky. We got very lucky. The Mamluks attacked Aniza, which is an ally to Makuria, and it broke their alliance. So now Makuria is free for grabs, and that's what we're going to try and do. At any rate, that's what we're going to try to do, is what Churchill said once. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for Makuria and this is faster. Going there is faster, right? Just for four days. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking, should I declare now or should I wait until my troops reach there? I think if I declare now, maybe... I don't know where the Mamluk troops are. Are they going in Medina or are they going in Makuria? Not sure. They also have those provinces. Maybe he he's actually going for all of them. Uh, but, by the way, we should improve relations with the Mamluks, just to be on the safe side. Hopefully our war enemies here are not strong enough to fight us over, over that. Doesn't have any defensive advantages, though they will be making a crossing. Okay, I say we fight now. Yeah, straight up, go, go straight, hopefully we get there before the Mamluks. Um, so what are we going to take? Are we going for missionary strength or discipline? That's an interesting question. Does this one give me an extra missionary? No, it just gives me missionary strength. But missionary maintenance reduction. Thing is, this costs 5,000. And I don't think it's a sound investment. Um, the pyramids... Pretty far away. He went there. I think he's going down there. Oh, the Mamluts are sitting. They have a 4K. They have a 4K stack. That is sitting. Oh, that's not good. I need just one guy to go there. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me the Mamluks are going to... They got it. Crap! Come on, man! Why? Unlucky. Well, the only thing I can do now is not waste my prosperity on these guys. Unlucky. Maybe they won't take provinces. Don't tell me he's gonna get that too. Yeah, he is. No, I got it. That's good. Did I get it? He got it? I'm not sure. Are you ready to give me everything, Adal? No, it doesn't seem ready to give me everything. And I actually gave him my position. Ah, uh, let's get mercantilism. Why not? It's pretty cheap.
hopefully he won't do separate piece for land here. He doesn't seem to want land. I'm hoping Where is he retreating to? Oh! It's over! We got it! Oh man, we got it. That's great. I can even not do that. The dots sent to there. Hopefully, while I'm not looking, they didn't beat me. Okay. They didn't. That's so great, man. And now they're gonna get Medina out of my war too. It's epic. We actually got it. That's insane. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, this rarely happens. Very rarely. Uh, are you able to get Makuria so easily? Uh, sometimes you need to fight the Mamluks. Other times not. But uh, yeah, this war of the Mamluks... Wait. They left Medina? They left Medina like that? Oh. It's Medina, it's not Mecca. So it doesn't matter so much. Right, right, right. Hezaz is mega. Um, yeah. So, look look at this guy. 200 days of seizing. Oh, actually, it's pretty normal. Is he gonna get it? It's not gonna be good. Jesus! This fucking game, man. So, 7 of August, we go there by 5 of August. Or we go there by 10 of August. Adal is going to have left by then. Um, let's get one of our guys sneaky sneaky here. So they don't get many garrison. Uh, Reinforcements. <laughs> I don't think I need to waste my admin points there for that. I could be ahead of time. I think I can trade efficiency. It's a little money. Why not? Okay, I can hunt them now. Maybe I should leave the company to seeds. I can hunt them without. Uh... He broke my. Ah. Come on, man. Broke my prosperity there. Um, luckily, it's only for one month.
I have too many fights. Okay, that's good. Can I get him out of the war? Oh, he's fighting someone else too? He's fighting some Mar. Why is some Mar fighting the Mar looks too? It's a different conquest. Where the Mamluks fight for its province. For not. It's very interesting because the Mamluks are, lo are losing a lot of manpower like that. Maybe we can. Uh... Is he actually fucking all of my prosperity? Is that his. Shit, man. Is that his target? <laughs> it's very interesting. The Mavlucks might uh, fight the Separatists for me. Um, monastery will be restored. No, 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 no. We don't care about that. We want professionalism. Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna get rid of the mercenaries anyway soon. So Medina has 5,000 troops, but is the four, um, four enemies. Medina has less morale than us, but 5,000 troops? I don't think we can do it. Seriously, we can stack wipe four troops? Thank you. Can I get my prosperity back, please? Thank you. Here. Let's improve with the mount looks again. Uh, maybe do a spy network with them too? Yeah, that would be helpful. Whiskey, Mahara. Are you ready for peace, buddy? No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, no peace for you. You're gonna give me everything. These guys, though, they might get peace.
Nice! Army professionalism. Uh, what province are we talking about here? He has... Well, I'll go for the admin. Mm, I think we go for... Missionary strength. Actually, call for peace from whom? From Adal? Oh! He's gonna give me everything. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I actually accept everything. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's what I was going for. Oh my god. That's so thoughtful. Thank you. Uh, these two forts, do we keep them? They're pretty good. This one though is uh, in coastal desert, but it does take care of this passage here. Uh, when we get Yemen, we take the Yemen one and it's better. Yeah. We accept these forts as bounty. Conquered Adal, you are right. We did. We did conquer Adal. Now for the Horn. For the Horny Africa. <laughs> they are going to be replaced at some point. For now. Maybe get them there. With a bit of. Uh, Maybe Medina wants to peace out, no? No, not even my player wants to do everything. Actually... Pay for work, just in case. Melodia separatists. Sandy. I got white. <sighs> Ten military points lost right there. That's interesting. Nice. Gain more innovativeness. Now I think we're going for military for innovativeness. Which means I shouldn't waste military points in anything. Because I want to keep me I want to keep being uh, ahead. Uh, the problem is Renaissance is very far away. And the Molochs we're not very happy with us. This expansion is not so great in the Mamluks though. But uh, yeah, the Makurians. It's interesting. Accepted cultures. Nubian is in what group? In Nubian. Okay. Ah, in the in Sundanese. Sundanese. Sudanese. Okay. Let's get some prestige, why not?
Warsangali, Marekhan, Ogadin. What would we do then? Warsangali, Marekhan, Ogadub. I think we're going to be there. No. Yes. I think I will build the marketplaces now because I want to collect from Aden. Should I get Medina as a vassal? I don't think so. I think I did a stupid mistake because now I'm going to get Azuran, Aden, Yemen. Well, Aden and Yemen have a truce with me. Azuran, I think, is my rival. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting the Mamluks as a rival for sure. So, Azuran is never going to like me. Marhan, Gadin and Warsangali. I lost the mom. So now they are in unconditional surrender. Which means, very soon, I'm going to get a call for peace. I don't like it. Nice. Thank you, my queen. My queen. Thank you, my queen. Call for peace. We can tolerate it for a little bit. Ogadin and Marekhan. He probably will join a coalition against me. I need to get them at plus four. They don't actually care about that. They would have joined the coalition against me already. Why are they not joining them? They already, they already are pretty angry with me. Probably because I'm strong. Maybe I should get a bit stronger. Yeah, I will change from Sunni to Shia, so that I don't get uh, Sunni Zealots. Oh, they disappeared. Um, can go Sunni then. But the best one is probably this one, or this one. 
I think Dongola is the best. Where is Dongola? Here. They also rebelled. Uh, let's see, what can we reduce autonomy at? Oh, we're not at peace. What am I saying? So it's Marihan and Ogadin now. Yemen and Aden, they are at truce with me. Let's improve the Mamluks a bit too. I don't want him getting any ideas to attack me before I attack him. He is low in manpower indeed. I would love if he fought the Ottomans or someone else. Yeah, it's too much now. Uh, we have to push. We truce and whatever happens, happens. What to do? Let's dislike us. I don't think there's any point in seizing land now. Oh, I can get uh, enforced unity of faith. I'm always forgetting about that. It's pretty strong too. Well, this one... How costly is he? No, I think I'll just not get that. About mobility, can we get anything good? I can give them a monopoly. I can give them monopoly in mining. Because I don't have a lot of mines anyway. Uh, let's check the trade goods, wait. So monopoly in mining gives them... From iron and copper, right? Yes. So, trade goods. I have copper. Nowhere else there is copper. Is there copper? And can we find iron somewhere? Probably not. There is one iron there. And one there. So, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'll just give them... Uh, Monopoly to iron. I didn't know that. If I if I did, we'd have two more mercantilism right now. Because it takes every 10 years. So every 10 years, this gives you one mercantilism. And... Yeah, we don't care about anything else. Do we have mercantilism to give here? No, wait. Monthly gold inflation. What? Every gold will receive penalty produced. Why, why would you do this? Oh, gold depletion sons, I say. So that they don't get depleted. Um, yeah, we're good. So, how much mercantilism do we have? We have 10%. How? I got one from event and one from now. And I got the estate loans two times, okay. So the reason I want mercantilism is because at some point it starts to become important to have high trade and though the burger loans are great, they don't help a lot with mercantilism. 
and I don't have what to build. I would like to build a workshop at some point. For now, let's do two searches. I know, I know. 0.06 searches are not good. Whatever. Chill this guy, chill this guy. Washangali is chill. Still add an other two. Because at some point he will be out of the coalition. So he's not. He actually is unlighted to him. Alright. Uh, what about Kilva? He's becoming pretty strong. I will have to take this because I think the Zanzibar is the best trade node or Alexandria. If I if I'm strong against the Mamluks, I won't go down to Zanzibar. Because it's a waste of time. If I fight the Mamluks and beat them, I'll just go to the Mediterranean to Europe. At some point a guy spawns here if I remember correctly. So we want to we want to get him too, so that we can fight in the mid here, because it it pushes to Ethiopia. Okay, let's check our missions again. Yeah, that's very hard to do. He wants us to take this from the Nolux. Um This means just get a theolusionary inquisitor. We don't have one yet. At some point we will. And uh, have a navy size, 80% of the force limit. And then he says, here is at least 1550, or discovered Portugal. And we get alliance with the Portuguese, and then we get merchants in Europe. Yeah, that makes sense. We will need to get some ships. Um, so should I go with galleys? That's what's not, what I should have been building instead of uh, you know searches. But luckily, they're pretty cheap. Great, we get autonomy reduction. Finally. And good news. So that means when we are at war, now oh, this is a prosperous state, uh, we lose a little bit less autonomy. Okay, let's see. This guy rebelled recently, so we can decrease him. This guy is going to rebel, so whatever, decrease him. Um, good, good, good. Now let's not decrease Semyon. This guy, not sure. No, I actually do it. Why not? 7%. Um, Gezira. Funds, separatists. Hmm. Not sure about that. It's mainly over extension of work exhaustion. So, yeah, I can do that. I can do him too. Uh, though he might rebel, but so Semyon we're not doing. Uh, this one's let's do. This one he rebelled. They rebelled. They're going to rebel. This is no problem. Let's not do them. He rebelled. Okay. So. We didn't get much money. But whatever. We're getting a lot of inflation from our gold mines. Maybe I should get... Oh, yes! I didn't see we had an inflation guy. I was about to say maybe I should get a better uh, admin advisor. He's at minus one. Okay. Okay. 
Great, so... We're not getting there in time to get the innovativeness. We'll lose legitimacy. Uh, but even though we're not getting in time for the innovativeness... We got the separatists, 7,000. Yeah, we They get, they got out. Okay. All separatism there. Too, too bad. Too bad. I wanted to get them before they... <laughs> they could add separatism. Um, although it's 13.5, I think max, I think max separatism is 15. Improve relations guy is very important. Let's get the inflation guy to... It's just going to slow it down a bit. <laughs> so we need to strengthen our actual economy so that we don't rely too much on gold mines. The more we rely on gold mines, uh, the more inflation we get. So what you usually want to do is use the gold mines to kickstart you like uh, some kind of loans may in may we can get better uh does he have any allies no well too bad for him I think a little slowdown here would be prudent. We don't have very good development. Um, they're going to rebel there. Are our separatists? I can leave Beza for a little bit later. He is in truce with the Mamluks. So, the Mamluks don't want anything from me yet. They're fighting their own stuff. Fighting in Hormuz. They can't get the seeds. It's interesting. Try and stay in the middle. We proked. So also separatists are going to talk there probably. Yeah. Got the fetishists. Next is Alodia. They have Soba in. Okay, so they're going to spawn Soba. No other way about it. Well, let's calculate this now 37% of 15. That's 3.7 plus 1.8. Yeah. So I think all the threes we can do. I think the fours we can do. The about the five. 50. So 100. 
37.2% is Sixty-two. So this can go down to thirty-one. The threes, though, are good. Um, this one is a fifty percenter. Thirty. Let's put two. Let's put two. Let's put two. So we're waiting for this one. For the three big ones. Oh, this one is actually we can do it next month. Wait, let's improve the knowledge. Oh wait, what? They're happy with us. Nice. And we are ahead of time. We stay ahead of time. We don't lose any weight us. We get new horses. Great. Also separatists, Alodia. Let's not provoke them. I think there's no need. Karakoyunlu is a good rival. If I go through there, I can get my thingy. Should I get Alexandria as a trading company? No, what's the point of that? I'm going to move my capital there. Okay, now we want uh, something a little bit fast. 25er, that's good. Because we want to convert this next, after it's scored. For some reason, it's angry with us now. That claim, not sure why. Let's improve him too. <coughs> oh, interesting. Well, they, they suddenly can join a coalition just because um, I'm not rival to Azuran anymore, I think. Let's should improve them too then. Okay. Well, to be honest, these guys... I think they can leave. Yeah. Next rebellion down there. We'll see it when it's eighty percent. Pretty old. Maybe I should buy a general. Good. Reason is, if your uh, <clears throat> if your ruler dies, he's 51 years old. If your ruler dies while while leading an army, uh, you lose one extra stability. And we're stab three. Why go to stab one? So what about prosperity? Oh. 
Hmm. It's close. Do we get goods modifier on uh, gold mines too? It's very interesting. Yes, we do. Wow. So we're expecting to have even more inflation soon. <laughs> oh man. Um, maybe improve my Diplo guy. How much am I making? Let's improve him too. We can have plus two everywhere, but they're pretty expensive. Uh, when we finish innovative, due to advisor cost, they're gonna be a bit cheaper. So have I improved with more looks? Yes. Um. The Mamluks, the Mamluks wish for more of those lines. Hasa is a puppet of Mamluks? Wow. It's not good. Oh, he's got noble rebels. That's good. This gives me 10% morale. When can I get my military doctrine? Naval force limit of 20 or above. Uh, also, I can just uh, have no maintenance on my fleet. Because I'm not doing anything with it anyway. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll get him. Let's see what the 100 Jesus. Christ, man. Wow. So, so that's a general with a hundred edition. Three, 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 three. <laughs> it's, it's pretty simple, isn't it? Uh, do I want this as a full core? Well, I have, I have one full core there. It's not so costly, let's do it just due to it being cheap. Majraro Gadin Marehani Amen Warsangali. So the year changed. And I didn't improve with them. Is there what I'm doing? Gadin. Yeah. Or a hundred still. Yemen or Gadin? That's wrong. Yemen has a truce with me. Gadin might never like me. Okay, let's just do it. Thirty-six percent of fifty. Thirty-seven percent of fifty. 
Yeah, it's exactly 31. That's perfectly correct. Okay, we take our rebels, we take our autonomy. No. Sure. Should I? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Hmm, Arcee. Is she gonna rebel? Where is she? Who are you friends with? Sunni Zealots. Huh? Am I confronting him? So he has uh, active missionary, intolerance, plus 12, 18. Oh, actually, I can uh, decrease the number with him too. It's gonna be okay after the conversion. This is good. Uncle Bear. Huh. Schools for the public. Until 80. Sure. Why not? And pretty much that's all. Semyon. No, let's not do him. Beta Israeli. Yeah, let's let them uh, get to zero. Maybe I'll do it him also. Actually, I can send my troops. Get them to zero and then... Uh, and then... And then BAM! Get them. Hmm. They want 2% of land. Get this to 20 dev. Well, it is free. I can just seize land now. Why are you fighting so many battles? This province is besieged. Next we have something kind of weird. Um, let's reduce him now. He has a huge intolerance though. I will never convert him in the near future. So let's just leave him like that. Go to Uncle Bear. I love him. This is why I don't like decreasing autonomy. Because you find it ahead of yourself in like 10 years. Whatever. 
let's actually take. Uh... Okay. Can they get them? I hope. I give you the three maneuver one. Twenty of December. Thirty-five. Let's just get uh, defensiveness for a bit. <laughs> Not way. It's going to be slower for them. Just don't want to lose uh, any. They should let you kill no edict at the fastest possible time. Really. Well, whatever. 123. That's something. To full cordon. Oh my god. Rebellion here is insane. It's plus 25. <laughs> Makurian um, up there. Okay. We need to go there then. Why did he move? He was here. This is bullshit. This is fucking... Did we have respect here? Come on, man. Seriously. Ah, come on. Ah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Makurian separatists, Ethiopian noble rebels. These guys have to chill out. It's a clergy problem. Alright. Well, they did chill a bit. Okay. I think if I squat here, they're gonna be okay. These guys are going to reinforce up to the point that they're going to get them to. Zero, and then we just have to deal with uh, real rebels. But we we are waiting for the Napoleon separatists here. This gets converted in 20 months. We're gonna get, I think, missionary strength because I have a lot of stuff to convert. Yeah, I should get missionary strength. Berber and there. So that's good. Moving fast, please. It's a good maneuver. 10 of August. Do I care about separatism here? No, I don't care about separatism there. But I do care to remove this edict as soon as possible. Do I have any other edicts? Encourage development. Oh my god. So much money lost. Point thirty ducats! No! Um, relations, let's do him, let's do him, let's do him. Not bad ahead of time for a bit. For 11 years, 
some corruption reduction helps a bit helps a bit it would have helped more earlier but yeah sure let's do some more galleys Next we have Tongola Separatists over the rough and Wallachian. Oh, pretty much the same. We're missing 800 men but we're gaining 333 a month which is great. And we need to check our missions soon to start and understand what our next steps are. We're a strong nation. I think we go against the Horn of Africa. Uh, the Mamluks soon are going to turn their heads towards us, which is very dangerous. Right now they're fighting Hormuz and Dawasir. I think they're fighting Dawasir mainly. Yeah, but they don't have they don't have the seeds. And they put the seeds, yeah, they put the, the Dawasir province as the war goal. But yeah, when they get it, they're gonna get something. Thing is, they're, they're starting to become strong, very strong. We are kind of strong too. We are going to have 10% morale when we convert this. The navy, I would like the navy. To be strong. I think a strong navy here against the Mamluks is very important so that you can jump, though we don't have transports. Maybe we'll need to build some forts. But, well, for sure we'll need to build at least one fort, probably here. This is a good fort because it keeps them here and here. Uh, though the problem is both of these provinces are not good for defense. It's just flatlands and any good province for defense is way further inside our country. It's gonna get everything until then. Maybe I can build a fort here and take Swakin, but they can pass through that fort. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I think we'll find all of those stuff next time. Uh, this was it from me, guys. This was a pretty, pretty good run. Uh, yeah, so see you next time in Europe Universalis 4. Goodbye and uh, have a good one.